Yo there guys, this is Cobb and welcome to episode 1 of Dueling with Cobb. This is a series in which I pretty much duel you guys, then I talk over the duels, say what I did, good or bad, and depending on how well I know your class, I might mention some things you did good or perhaps could do a little better. If you want to get involved in this series, all you have to do is send me your battle tag and your armory link in a YouTube message and you have a chance of being added in the future. But anyways, let's get on to the first set of duels. This is Lylandris playing a Feral Druid. Now for the first couple of duels I tried not adjusting my spec, I was playing with this Succubus as I thought the Whiplash might be a little bit useful, which it wasn't and I was also using Unbound Will which is just unforgivable when Blood Horror is sitting there in the same tier. So needless to say, I promptly lost the first couple of duels. Now the spec I found most success with was this one, a server spec, this time with Blood Horror, using the Fell Hunter as a main pet. Now this first duel here was so eye-bleedingly awful, I just had to show it for educational purposes. In fact, the mistakes by me begin three seconds into the duel. There it is. Instead of just using Blood Horror before Lylandris opened, I decided to use Sacrificial Pact instead, which is just unforgivably stupid of me, and the first wasted defensive cooldown that I could have easily been avoided. This is doubly bad because Blood Horror won't work until the shield on me is broken, so I have to wait until I can start taking damage before I can get some room to breathe with the Blood Horror effect. By the time the shield breaks down, I'm left with Feral Bleeds all over me and my health pool significantly dented and he hasn't even popped anything. And now that he does pop something, I panic and use Unending Resolve. This again is a huge waste, I should have just kept my cool and used Howl of Terror or Shadow Fury straight away. He pops all of his defensives here as I pop my first Dark Soul because I think he knows he's already won here. Um, my heals barely do a thing to keep me up, I ember taps to prolong my existence but he's gonna stick to me like glue now. I've just got too many cooldowns ticking over at this point as I should have popped them all basically at different times. Um, I get off a blood horror but it's just buying me some more time before I eventually do go down. Now duel number 2 is played with the exact same spec but the order of my cooldowns changes almost completely. You see I Blood Horror right away, then Sacrificial Pact afterwards and it's fine to use Sac Pact early as long as you use Blood Horror first. It's a 20 second duration shield on Sac Pact so you're always going to get the full absorption potential out of it. Then as soon as the shield breaks I howl and he trinkets and now look at this. I've got him to around 75% health and forced a trinket already and I'm almost untouched just by using my control abilities and a shield instead. And that's the main thing you'll notice different in this duel, instead of trying to mongo tank his damage, um, I spam my three control abilities, Shadow Fury, Howl and Blood Horror. I pop an early Dark Soul here because we have two now with Archimonde's Darkness in 5.4. And in response to taking some big damage, he pops his Heart of the Wild. And this is why I spec into service and I'm using a Fell Hunter. I summon my second Fell Hunter here so they are both paging him on cooldown and I managed to dispel his rejuvenation buff, stopping a lot of heal ticks for him. Out of this, you will notice my control abilities are all coming back up because I use them so so early. So I use them here again almost on cooldown just to land some more big damage. Seeing him go invis for a second here, I pop my shield wall along with Blood Horror. So I might not have even needed to wall here really, but it was just being safe. I Shadow Fury off of that fear just to buy some time. All of my many control cooldowns are pretty much still down, so I'm going to be forced to sack pack here. He puts me into a bash here though, which is good by him as I have no answer to that at this point, and he nearly kills me in this. But out of this, you're going to see why using control abilities on cooldown is so, so important. Everything is now back up for me. So even though I am on low health here, he won't be able to connect to me with damage for the rest of the duel. Blood Horror sets up a fear, and I'm going to land little chunks of damage every time I have him controlled. Howl goes out, then into a Shadow Fury that you're going to see, then into a pole to kite away. And in that time, Blood Horror is ready to go again, and in that, I managed to finish him off. So these duels were really night and day for me. In the first slice showed, I tried to tank and out damage a Feral toe to toe should have been obvious to me really who was going to come out on top in that one, but in the second I spammed control to survive long enough to live through Lylandris' defensive and offensive cooldowns. These next duels are against Yueve. I dueled him as both sub and assassination spec, so we're going to cover a little bit of both. Now again, I'm going to show my loss first. I open with my pet far away from me so she won't get kicked on her seduce cast. 
I'm using the same spec as before so I'd be looking to land a Blood Horror early, but Yuiv is actually a boss and cloaks my Blood Horror instantly so I'm in hot water right away. I pot away but he's instantly back on me with his unused trinket pop so I know he's looking to best here. I pop my heals and sack packed instantly. I kite away a little bit, then howl him with Dark Souls so he trinkets. Then check this. I hold off from using Shadow Fury for just a second and my health pool pretty much just stops existing. Assassination does so so much damage in 5.4 and I definitely regret not just throwing my Shadow Fury out there earlier. So I try and get off some damage here with Unending Resolve popped but I end up just porting away to try and live. He vanishes and I just kinda use Blood Horror and clench my ass cheeks to be honest. And um, He forced everything out of me with his cooldowns. As it happens, the gods of Blood Horror decide they won't be horrifying anyone in this duel. I do eventually get Yuiv under control again and it might have been good to take a win here as he has no trinket but I was just too far behind and from earlier in the duel by his best cooldowns that I'm not going to be able to survive his reopener here. Very well played by him. Now this is a duel with Yuiv spec as sub and the same as before I start with my succubus positioned away from me I also use twilight ward to absorb some poison damage something that did slip my mind in the last duel. After having my blood horror immune in some of the duels I'm also a bit more worried about using it this time around. I sack back instantly when he opens but he's actually popped very big cooldowns here so I heal right out of this. I tentatively land my blood horror this time around and move to pet seduce him right out of that but he actually blinds my pet so right away I choose to just howl him instead. He trinkets that. Notice how just like against the feral earlier in this video I'm pumping out my control cooldowns. They are a huge strength of 5.4 warlocks. I use my embers to heal and pop unending resolve just as he kidneys me and I decide to trinket this while I have my dark soul pop. I try and land some damage on the end of my cooldowns, we're just trading some blows here until he decides to vanish. So I throw up a twilight ward, some rain of fires and a blood horror, but blood horror hates me and does nothing. But I was able to avoid his damage a little better at the start of the jeweler's time so I just about have enough in me to survive his reopener. And just about now is the turning point as I managed to survive long enough my mini cooldowns uh, and sacrificial pack which I use right at the start of the duel are coming back to save my ass. I keep him under as much control as possible managed to pre-sack pack his re-re-opener and with the help of ember tap kiting around and around 200 damage from this random little force mage I'm able to take the win. Now these duels are against Windwalker Monk called Waxfang. We had a pretty sweet series which really made me realise how powerful Windwalker Monk self heals can be. As soon as the duel starts I land a pet seduce into a blood horror which he nimble brews and all I'm doing for now is trying to get his trinkets and brews. Then I'll be looking to force Twitch of Karma with my first Dark Soul. I trinket a leg sweep stun here and howl him. Then I pop my first Dark Soul and unending resolve and this is going to get his Twitch of Karma. So I'm just looking to try and waddle away from here, I get a nice knockback as he jumps. I portal away, I use my heals, it's all going well and then I mess up. I use Blood Horror first and then afterwards I decide I'm going to go and pop my second Dark Soul. Um, and because Shadow Fury is still on cooldown for another 20 seconds, I now pretty much have no way of locking Waxfang down to try and finish this duel with this Dark Soul. If I'd been a tad more patient and just waited for Shadow Fury to come back up before using Dark Soul, I probably would have been able to keep him pinned down for long enough to deal some really really big damage. But as I can't do that he's going to stick on to me with more longevity with Monk self heals and he's going to be able to take a win. Now the second duel starts in a very very similar way, I'm just trying to kite throwing out control cooldowns and, and we're both just sparring really. He roots me so I howl and land a pretty early Chaos Bolt before buffing up with Blood Horror which he cleverly stuns me on. And here I decide that it's time to go. I Shadow Fury, pop Dark Soul and land some big big damage with Unending Resolve up and he kites away for a little bit and before conceding and eventually popping his Touch of Karma. This is kind of good for me but he does manage to catch a Chaos Bolt into it which means he'll be dealing some juicy damage to me right about now. So I go into kite mode here, I blood horror which he nimble bruise before popping my heals. 
then seducing to create a health stone as I notice I actually don't have one made. Now that his karma is over I can look to go in for the kill here, I get some distance and then I go ahead and put my Dark Soul. I see I can Shadow Fury and Bolt Horror is going to be back up really really soon, within a few seconds. Um, so I Shadow Fury, I pump out some really big damage, then throw up a Blood Horror to CC chain him further but he's actually really smart. He lands some heals before he hits me but when he does I'm able to free cast enough to finish him off and I had a Howl of Terror ready to use out of that. So good jewels. Um, anyway this is the first episode of Dueling with Corb, I really really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Both participants and viewers again, just message me your battle tag and armory if you want to get involved in this series yourself. If you have already dueled me and it wasn't in this episode, I'm probably saving it for a future episode, I don't want to have these episodes being too long. Um, thanks for watching though and have an awesome day.